The countdown is on to election day with one month to go. There are 14 statewide ballot measures this year and three of them deal with criminal justice. Not only would they increase sentences for certain offenders, but provide millions of dollars for local police. Your political reporter Sean Boyd gave the measures a reality check. As is the case with many ballot measures, the devil is in the details with these, and some are missing details. Here's what you need to know. Proposition 130 requires the legislature to allocate $350 million for pay, bonuses, education, and training of local peace officers, distributed by the Department of Public Safety through a grant program. It also provides a million dollar death benefit for the family of any officer killed in the line of duty. The measure takes effect upon passage, but it doesn't specify when the money will be allocated or how grant recipients will be chosen. Support Supporters argue the best way to reduce crime is to hire more crime fighters, pointing to a study by Common Sense Institute that found crime has increased in Denver as the number of cops has decreased, while the opposite is true in Colorado Springs. Opponents say because the money comes from the general fund, it will result in cuts to other important programs and services. From those who fight crime to those who commit crime, Proposition 128 requires people convicted of certain violent crimes to serve at least 85% of their sentence before being eligible for parole, and those convicted of three or more violent crimes to serve all of their sentence. Supporters argue Colorado has one of the highest recidivism rates in the country because violent criminals serve just 46% of their sentences based on corrections data. But the Colorado Fiscal Institute finds longer sentences will cost the state more than $240 million. Finally, Amendment I is in response to the state legislature's repeal of the death penalty in 2020. Judges used to be able to hold people charged with death penalty eligible crimes without bail. Since there's no longer a death penalty, there's no death penalty eligible crimes. The ballot measure would allow judges to deny bail to those charged with first degree murder. Opponents say it's at odds with the concept of innocent until proven guilty, saying some people would end up in jail as they await trial for a crime they didn't commit. I'm Sean Boyd, and that's Reality Check.